joining Nesby Jr. of Southern California here for the advanced screening of Harriet. My name is Amanda Wood and I'm an eighth grader at Geffen Academy at UCLA. I am also a past president and current member of Nesby Jr. of Southern California. Good afternoon, my name is Caleb Johnson. Um, I, I am a sixth grader at Westchester Lutheran School, and I am a current member of Nesby Jr. Southern California. Um, Nesby Jr. is a part of the National Society of Black Engineers, which has a mission to increase the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the community. Nesby Jr. <laughs> This new junior chapter provides consistent, convenient, and affordable affordable access to um, STEM programming for youth before we get to college. And in this chapter, we serve youth in fourth to eighth grades. When when we meet, we learn about STEM principles and careers. <laughs> with a focus on math achievements. For example, already this year, our, ma our members have learned how to program Sphero robots so they move through com complicated mazes and, and we calculated the angles and distances of the mazes created by our advisors so we could program the robots. I have enjoyed my time at Nesby because I like going on the field trips to USS Iowa, the Griffith Park Observatory, and the US UCLA Science Day. We even participated in the Fall Regional Conference in Las Vegas last year. That was a blast. <laughs> Every year, as a fundraiser, we host a screening featuring the accomplishments of a black person who has positively impacted their community. A few years ago, we hosted a screening of Hidden Figures, a movie featuring the accomplishments of women mathematicians who worked at NASA in the 1950s, and this year we are screening Harriet. This movie has a great deal of significance because it celebrates an abolitionist who is also an astronomer. You see, at Nesby, we see math and science and everything. So we all know it took a great deal of courage for Harriet to escape to freedom and return for others. But it also took a great deal of smarts for her to travel on unpaved roads, avoid capture, and and help those who are trusting in her without the benefits of a map, compass, or a flashlight. As you'll soon see, she did it using the stars in the sky, which made her one of the first STEM sheroes here in America. Wow. Um, please take a moment to look into the goodie bags for your study guides where you can learn more about Harriet Tubman, astronomy and the use of astronomy in Africa before Africans were enslaved. But before we move on, we have another one of our STEM sheroes here with us today, Miss Colley. Miss Colley is one of the Nesby Junior of Southern California Advisors, and she is also a real rocket scientist who works at Northrop Grumman. Yeah. Okay. Um, more importantly, she works with us at everything meeting to at every meeting to make sure we understand science, technology, engineering, and math. Please welcome our very own Miss Colley. 